rheumatoid nodules rise in at least 25% of patients with rheumatoid arthritis and they are the most common extra-articular manifestation of rheumatoid arthritis. And they are also associated with more severe cases of RA. Other conditions that rheumatoid nodules can develop in association with include SLE and rheumatic fever. And smoking is a risk factor for developing rheumatoid nodules. The nodules can develop in a variety of sites, including the tendons, tendon sheaths, and around the joints. They also affect the subcutaneous tissue, particularly in the pressure points, such as the ulnar aspects of the forearms, elbows, lumbosacral region of the back, and the back of the head. Other sites that the nodules can rise in include the spleen, the heart, heart valves, pericardium, the lungs, pleury, kidneys and meninges. Clinically, rheumatoid nodules are firm, non-tender and mobile unless they are attached to the periosteum, for example. Uh, they are also round or oval in shape and the size varies from a few millimetres to two centimetres or more in diameter. Histologically, rheumatoid nodules have a sharply defined central area of necrosis with fibrin deposition and the necrotic area is surrounded by a rim of typically palisaded histocytes with lymphocytes and plasma cells. The main differential diagnosis includes granuloma annulare and necrobiosis lipoidica, but other differential diagnoses to bear in mind include epithelioid sarcoma, gouty tophi, and calcinosis cutis. Here is a really nice example of a rheumatoid nodule. There is a very well circumscribed central area of necrobiosis surrounded by a palisaded rim of histiocytes, lymphocytes and plasma cells. Here is a higher power view of the inflammatory infiltrate. This is the central part of a rheumatoid nodule showing dead fibrous tissue or necrobiosis that is staining darkish red. And around the degenerate aspect of the central part of the nodule is palisading histocytes with a sprinkling of lymphocytes. And finally this is an example of another typical rheumatoid nodule with its central area of necrosis surrounded by a rim of inflammatory cells. Yeah.